and moving on, a trade war was declared between Turkey and Israel. Jerusalem said it would impose measures to curb imports of products from Turkey in response to Ankara putting restrictions on exports of a wide range of products to Israel until a ceasefire is declared in Gaza. More on this from ILTV's Steve Leibovitz. The Turkish trade ministry started the boycott, announcing measures against Israel would apply to the export of products from 54 different categories, including iron, marble, steel, cement, aluminum, brick, fertilizers, construction equipment, aviation fuel, and more. Sayın Cumhurbaşkanımız tarafından olaylanan bu tedbirler gecikmeksizin adım adım hayata geçirilecektir. Bu tedbirler ilgili kurumlarımız tarafından kamuoyumuzla paylaşılacaktır. İsrail ateşkes ilan edene kadar ve insani yardımların Gazze'ye kesintisiz biçimde ulaşmasına izin verene kadar bu tedbirlerimiz devam edecektir. An Israeli spokesman referred to Foreign Minister Israel Katz saying that Turkish President Tayyip Erdogan was again sacrificing the economic interests of the people of Turkey in order to support Hamas and Israel will respond in kind. We've made it quite clear that Israel will not give in to violence and extortion and we will not condone the one-sided violation of the trade agreements and we will take parallel measures against Turkey which will harm the Turkish economy. Now, the foreign minister said that he's ordered the preparation of another list of products that Israel will, uh, for Israel to prevent Turkey from exporting. Israel said it will also seek to stop U.S. investments in Turkey. And in addition, the foreign minister has instructed the uh, Israeli foreign ministry officials to contact countries and organizations uh, in the United States to stop investments in Turkey and to prevent the import of products from Turkey and to our friends in the American Congress to examine the violation of the boycott laws and impose sanctions on Turkey accordingly. Shortly after the Israel-Hamas war started, Turkey and Israel withdrew their ambassadors while regularly trading accusations. This was the first significant measure taken by Ankara against Israel since the start of the conflict. 